Hello crochet friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Suma. I love making crochet patterns and tutorials. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe, like this video and share with other crochet friends. So in this video, I will show you how to transform this to this. This is a kerchief crocheted from a v-scarf pattern and the v-scarf pattern is available on my blog I will leave the link in the description down below and to do these I will need light worsted or DK yarn if you prefer and a 5 millimeter crochet hook so the pattern I'm gonna use is this one from my blog which is a the PL de Serena crochet wrap and it's written in the description on the blog and all the materials are listed the level is listed as well and the finished size of the v-scarf is listed as well and the gauge which is 17 stitches by 12 rows of half double crochets they give us a 4 by 4 inch or a 10 by 10 centimeter square the stitches used here are a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and treble crochet. We are going to start by chaining 4 or making a ring, a magic ring. In this case I'm going to make a magic ring like this. And I'm going to zoom in to show you how to make it. So I changed the background and put a white sheet here. I'm going to make a magic ring. You can make chain, you can chain four and slip stitch in the first stitch to form a ring, but I prefer to do a magic ring. So first I'm going to chain one. And around the ring, I'm going to make one half double crochet and make chain one and repeat this step six times. So one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet, chain one. One half, one half double crochet, chain one, one, two, three, four, five, one half double crochet, and chain one. So at this point, we have six half double crochets and six chains. So finally, I'm going to make one additional half double crochet, so we get seven half double crochet. And as you know, this kerchief is triangular shaped, so the middle half double crochet will be the center which is the fourth one at this point i'm going to pull the yarn and i'm going to get this shape right here so as i told you the fourth half double crochet which is this one will be the center of our triangle so this pattern is worked back and forth so we have to flip the work each time we finish the row or the row we're working on. So at this point, I finished row number one. I'm going to flip the work as so, like this. And I will chain one. And for row number two, I'm going to make two half double crochets in the first stitch. one and two then I will chain one and make one half double crochet around the next one chain space right here this one I'm going now to chain one skip this half double crochet and make one half double crochet around the next one chain space as so 
Next, I'm going to chain one. Skip this half double crochet and make one half double crochet around the next chain space. So we've reached the center stitch, which is the fourth half double crochet. So we're going to make one half double crochet in this stitch, then chain three, one, two, and three. And in the same stitch, I'm going to make additional one half double crochet. So in the center, you can see we have one half double crochet, three chains and one half double crochet. So around the one chain space next, I'm going to make a one half double crochet. Chain one, skip the half double crochet and in the space next to it, make one half double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one, skip one half double crochet and make one half double crochet in the last one chain space. And we finally have the last stitch which is a half double crochet. So we're going to make two half double crochets in this stitch. And we we'll get this shape. So basically what we're doing, we're mirroring these stitches right here and making the same steps but backwards. Okay, so now we're done with row number two. I'm going to flip my work and start with row number three. In row number three, we're going to chain one and make in the first stitch one double crochet chain one and one half double crochet in the same first stitch so basically we did one double crochet chain one and one half double crochet all in the first stitch next in this round in this row we're not going to skip any stitches so basically we're going to make one half double crochet in each stitch so we have one half double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch as well. One half double crochet around the next one chain space right here. One half double crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next one chain space. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one two, and we're at the center now. We have three chains in between. And these three chains, we're going to make one half double crochet, chain three, and one half double crochet, like this. So I'm going to continue working like we did here, one chain, one, one stitch in each stitch and around each one chain space. So one, two, three, four, Six, seven, and eight. And in the final stitch, as we did in the first stitch, but backwards, we're going to make one half double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So at this point, we finished row, num row number three. Next, we're starting with row number four. So I'm going to flip the work one more time and chain one. 
And in the first stitch, which is a double crochet, I'm going to make two half double crochets. One and two. Next, I'm going to make one half double crochet around the next one chain space. Like this. And one half double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and we've arrived at the three chains in the middle in the center of the triangle and in these three chains I'm going to make one half double crochet chain three and again one half double crochet as before and I will repeat the same steps here backwards I'm going to make one double, one half double crochet in each of the ten, of the ten next stitches. So, I'm going to make one half double crochet around the one chain here. And finally, in the last stitch, I'm going to make two half double crochets. And this is how it looks when we're done with row number four. Next, I'm going to start with row number five. So I'm going to flip the work one more time. So, we flip the work again, and in row number 5, I'm going to chain 1 and make 1 double crochet in the first stitch. Chain 1, and I have double crochet in the first stitch as well. Next, I'm going to make 1 single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to chain 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and skip 5 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in the 6th stitch I'm going to make 1 single crochet so we'll get this shape next I'm going to chain 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and skip 5 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and make one single crochet around the three chain space right here just like this and next we're going to chain one and make one single crochet around the same space then chain three again make one single crochet around the same space then chain one one more time single crochet around the same space then chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. In the sixth stitch, make a single crochet. Again, we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then in the next stitch make a single crochet. Then I'm going to make 1 single crochet in the next stitch. And finally in the last stitch I'm going to make a 1 half double crochet and 1 double crochet in the same last stitch. Just like this. I'm going to flip my work and start with row number six. So chain one, make 
two half double crochets in the first stitch then make one single crochet in the next stitch skip one stitch and make one single crochet around this six chain space one half double crochet two double crochets one two So at this point we have one single crochet, one half double crochet and two double crochets. And next we're going to make one treble crochet. Then we're going to make two double crochets again. One half double crochet and one single crochet. Just like this. Now skip this single crochet right here and repeat the same steps in the next six chain space right here so one single crochet one half double crochet two double crochets one treble crochet Again, two double crochets, one half double crochet, and one single crochet. Again, these look the same. Next, I'm going to skip the first single crochet right here in the in the center. And in the next one chain space, so as we did in the row number five, we made one chain between the single crochets in the center. So in this chain, I'm going to make one single crochet and one, one half double crochet, just like this. Now in this stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet. So don't skip it. And in the center, I'm going to make one double crochet, then chain three, and make another one double crochet. And basically what I'm going to do is repeat the same steps I did here, but in reverse. So I'm going to make a double crochet in the next stitch, like this. And in the one chain space in between, I'm going to make one half double crochet and a single crochet then i will skip this stitch and repeat the same steps i did here in these two six chain spaces so at this point i finished these two spaces and what i'm going to do is skip this single crochet right here and in the next stitch i'm going to make one single crochet and in the last stitch i'm going to do to make two half double crochets one and two just like this now i'm going to flip the work and start with row number seven so basically chain one in the first stitch make one double crochet and one half double crochet both in the first stitch then chain one and, and make one half double crochet in the next stitch in the second one sorry just like this then chain one and make one treble crochet between the next two stitches so we have one more single crochet here and the first single crochet in the in the space here so in between insert your 
hook and make a treble crochet one two and three like this next chain five and skip these nine stitches and again make one treble crochet between these two stitches the two single crochets from the first space and the second space so in between like this I'm going to insert my hook and make a treble crochet just like this okay and again chain five and skip the nine stitches right here and again make a treble crochet between the next two single crochets so I skip these nine and between these two stitches I'm going to make one treble crochet just like this so next chain three and skip these stitches and in the last stitch before the three chains in this double crochet I'm going to make a one double crochet just like this chain three and one half double crochet again like this and I will repeat the same steps right here make one double crochet in this stitch skip these stitches and make a treble crochet between these two single crochets right here chain five skip the nine stitches and make a treble crochet between the two single crochets right here again chain five and between two single crochets make a treble crochet and finally chain one skip one stitch which is the single crochet right here and in this stitch I'm going to make one half double crochet and chain one again and make one half double crochet and one double crochet in the last stitch one and two Now, to start row number eight, flip the work, chain one and make two half double crochets in the first stitch. One and two. Make one half double crochet in the next stitch. Make one half double crochet around the next one chain, the chain one space. One half double crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet around this space, one chain space. And again, one half double crochet in the next stitch. And around these five chains make five half make five half double crochets one two three four and five make one half double crochet in this stitch which is the treble crochet and again around these five chains make five half double crochets and next make one half double crochet in the next stitch so around these next three chains make three half double crochets
make one half double crochet in the two in each of the two next stitches one and this one as well two next I'm going to make one half double crochet chain three one half double crochet all around the next three chain space in the center and as always we're going to repeat the same steps we did here on the side so finally in the last stitch after finishing all the half double crochets make two half double crochets one and two and this is number this is row number eight so for row number nine and at this point i just want to tell you that i'm following all the steps in the v shell or this scarf pattern that I did and I'm going to continue working until I get the perfect size for my head of course I should try it on from time to time and when I feel like it fits my head perfectly I'm going to stop working and just do the straps so continue working with me until I reach that point so I'm going to show you how to make row number 9 at this point. So flip your work and chain 1. In the first stitch you should make 1 double crochet and 1 half double crochet. Then chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make 1 half double crochet. Repeat the step 12 times. Just like this. We're skipping one stitch and working in the next all half double crochets. So when you're done doing 12 of these, so repeat it 12 times so we have 12 so we have 12 chains and 12 half double crochets you will reach the center point which is the three chains in the center so around this space you should chain one make one half double crochet chain three and one half double crochet and chain one again just like this and we're going to repeat the same steps we did here at the side but I will start by making one half double crochet in the next stitch right here and then chain so one half double crochet and chain one and repeat it 12 times and at this point I, I'm going to chain one and in the last stitch I'm going to make one half double crochet and one double crochet just like this in row number 10 as usual I will flip my work chain one start with two half double crochets in the first stitch so one and two one half double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet around the next one chain space and repeat these steps 13 times so in each stitch make one half double crochet and around each one chain space make a half double crochet as well okay so i'm done with the 13 repeats and i have one stitch here and three chains in the center so in this chain or in this stitch i'm going to make a half double crochet right here and around the center I'm going to make one half double crochet chain three and one half oops one half double crochet just like this in the next stitch I'm going to make one half double crochet and repeat all the steps I did here so at this point I finished all these stitches 13 times and finally make one half double crochet in the next stitch 
and two half double crochets in the last stitch one and two and now we're going to start with row number 11 flip your work chain one make one double crochet in the first stitch and a half double crochet in the first stitch as well and make one half double crochet in each of the next 29 stitches as such 1 2 3 4 5 Okay, so I finished 28 stitches and now for the 29th stitch I'm going to work it around the three chains right here. So make one half double crochet, then make chain three and then make another one half double crochet around this chain and at this point you should work in all stitches in 28 stitches one half double crochets until you reach the last stitch right here so work these 28 stitches and in the last stitch make one half double crochet and one double crochet and now we're going to start with row number 12 chain one and make two half double crochets in the first stitch one and two next i will make one half double crochet in each of the next 30 stitches when you're done making the 30 stitches 30 half double crochets now in the center make one half double crochet chain three and one half double crochet in this center one half double crochet chain three and one half double crochet just like this and then work 30 half double crochets in these 30 stitches and finally in the last stitch make Two half double crochets one and two and we're done making row number 12 now flip the work one more time now flip your work and start doing row number 13 chain one One double crochet and one half double crochet in the first stitch. Next, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain six and skip five stitches. One two three four five in the sixth stitch make a single crochet repeat the step five times along the the kerchief from the side so i'm done making this step five times one two three four and five i single crochet right here and then we should chain one skip this stitch right here this one and in the three chain space in the middle in the center make one single crochet chain three and again one single crochet now 
We should repeat all the steps we did right here on the other side but backwards so we're going to skip this stitch and in the next stitch I'm going to make a single crochet and start working my chains. Make one, two, three, four, five, and six and skip five stitches. One, two, three, four, five in the sixth stitch make a single crochet and repeat the steps four more times. And in the last stitch, make one half double crochet and a double crochet. One and a double crochet. And this is row number 13. Now flip your work and start working row number 14. And at this point, we're going to repeat all the steps we did before. Yes, so in row number 14, chain one and make two half double crochets in the first stitch. Make one single crochet in the next stitch. Then around the five chain space, as we did before, make one single crochet, one half double crochet, two double crochets, one treble crochet. Double crochets one more time, one half double crochet, and one single crochet all around the six chain space. Next, skip this one single crochet and repeat the same stitches around all these chain spaces, skipping all single crochets in between. And I'm done doing these spaces. Next, I'm going to skip the single crochet and in the in the space that is between the two single crochets, I'm going to make one single crochet and one half double crochet. So we didn't chain one in the previous row but we did two single crochets so in between them we're going to make one single crochet and one half double crochet and in the next one single crochet i'm going to make one one half double crochet so at this point i'm working around the three chain space in the center so in this space i'm going to make one half double crochet chain three and again one half double crochet and repeat all the steps I did here so in the next one single crochet I'm going to make one double crochet and in between the two single crochets I'm going to make one half double crochet and one single crochet then I will skip the single crochet and start working around all the chain spaces as we did on the other side so now that we finished all these, we should skip this single crochet and make one single crochet in the next stitch. And in the last stitch, we should make two half double crochets. Now, try this kerchief on your head. If you think it's enough to cover your head or it has the perfect size for you, you should stop at this point. If not, continue working on other rows, repeating the same steps we did before. So I feel that this is enough for me. So now we should do the strap. I will stop working on my piece so I will chain one and pull my yarn and I will cut this yarn so I cut the yarn and to make the straps I will take my yarn make a knot and chain 30 to 40 chains so I will make 35 chains.
and then I will insert the hook at the right side of the work from the corner here where I finished and I will make a single crochet and along this line here I will make single crochets in each row I will make a single crochet so here are the sides of the rows each row starts here or ends here so in each row I will make one single crochet if you feel that it's tight you can make one single crochet in one row and two single crochets in the next row so it will be one two one two one two or one 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 so when you're done making the single crochets along this line I've reached the other corner and then I will chain 35 like I did here I will make another 35 chains So when you're done making the other 35 chains, now we should do one more row and we're done. So flip the work and chain one and in each chain make a single crochet. 35 stitches and 35 chains and continue working in the middle in each single crochet. Make a single crochet along the side and in each of these 35 chains make one single crochet so at this point I've made all my single crochets in all stitches as so what I should do now is chain one and pull my yarn and cut it finally I will weave in all my ends and I'm done 